as Austin noted, the SDGs require next generation solutions. We couldn't agree more. Our work has taught us that to achieve the global goals, it is imperative that we advance collaborative interdisciplinary research and action, prepare a technical workforce that is equipped to engage effectively. Next slide, please. Um, deliver a systems perspective of the inextricably interlinked challenges, break down information silos, and democratize knowledge. And of course, advocate for the infrastructure and public leadership to drive implementation at scale. At E4C, this is our North Star. For over a decade, we have been dedicated to these issues by leveraging our unique community, digital platform, and expertise to enable the global engineering workforce to contribute their expertise in service of the SDGs and beyond. One key pathway is our impact projects an annual program that brings together our ecosystem of pragmatic optimists with organizations worldwide to advance shared sustainability objectives across three work streams, design for good, impact research, and advancing workflows. E4C's impact projects are co-designed with diverse organizations ranging from academic institutions, nonprofits, social enterprises, private sector, and multilateral agencies. To achieve the objectives determined together with our partners, we assemble and cultivate diverse talent around the globe. We lean on the insights and strategic guidance of our global network of more than 1,000 multidisciplinary experts and integrate our E4C fellows, whom we expose to urgent issues and train to execute the mix of scholarly work, private sector market research, and human-centered design required to propel the sector forward. For those of you who are not familiar, the E4C Fellowship Program is our distinctive workforce development program in social innovation. During a six month tenure, fellows benefit from structured online engagement, bespoke training and program support to ensure that they achieve key objectives determined with our partners and gain the valuable soft and technical skills required for the contemporary working world. The global pandemic has impacted all aspects of our lives and grounded many development programs. Engineers around the world, particularly early career engineers, were working from home and seeking opportunities to contribute their skills for the betterment of humanity. The Digital Native E4C Fellowship Program that we've been running since 2014 provided a vital lifeline to engineers, scientists, and architects worldwide. At the height of the pandemic, our program attracted 650 applications from over 80 countries. The 50 fellows that made our 2021 cohort came from 24 countries. To date, we have hosted nearly 150 fellows, 50% 50 of them women, from 47 countries in every continent. This approach with the impact projects allows us to simultaneously train exceptional rising professionals worldwide, provide a platform for interdisciplinary cooperation, and connect a community of thought leaders and peers from every continent. This human infrastructure is critical to realizing the SDGs and more. In 2021, our distributed workforce of fellows and experts advanced the sustainability goals of over 34 partners in the engineering industry, academia, grassroots nonprofits, and the public sector. Next slide, please. Today, we've assembled a sample of three impact projects representing cross-cutting stakeholders and sustainable development so that they can share their experiences with you. Our first example is in the advancing workflows pillar. These projects focus on improving systems workflow processes to ensure that partners can activate, achieve their impact goals more effectively. Today, we've invited our collaborator from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Mr. John Wayne, to share a few of his thoughts. Next slide, please. John is UNHCR's Senior Shelter and Non-Food Item Cluster Coordinator in Yemen, where I believe he's joining us from today. Welcome, Joanne. The floor is yours. Thanks, Meliniana. Hope you can hear me well. Yes. Um, great. Uh, good evening from Sana in Yemen. Um, UNHCR was sponsored by the Autodesk Foundation for support with operationalization of an integrated settlement spatial planning framework. We call this the master plan approach. 
Specific technical needs involved working with field-based technical experts in nine operations to develop a minimum package of basic information to inform an integrated settlement master plan. The project focused on the delivery of settlement planning tools and templates as a key component for operationalizing our integrated settlement planning framework. The role entailed close collaboration with multi-sectoral colleagues across nine operations. It also involved working with our colleagues in the technical support section, which is a multi-sectoral section, and that included colleagues from energy, environment, which is becoming crucially important in settlement planning issues, and water and sanitation. The outcome of this collaboration was the delivery of an enhanced and practical settlement tools and templates, which are now available to guide technical colleagues in the field when developing settlement plans, ensuring an improved quality of life for millions of people living in settlements and camp-like situations throughout the world. The fellow that worked with us this summer, uh, Ms. Dima Abu Arida, was absolutely the right pick for the job. We really appreciated Engineering for Change identifying Dima to work on this project because she brought the correct balance of the necessary technical competence. She is an architect and an urban planner. She also brought enhanced skills working with AutoCAD and other technical tools, which is absolutely invaluable as we capacity build colleagues throughout the world to be able to use such important tools. Um, Dima also brought with her um, immense enthusiasm. Um, she is from Jordan and she has done research work in refugee camps uh, in Jordan herself. You might know that we have Zatri, which is, which is a very good example. So um, it's great pleasure for me to hand you over to Dima herself, who will describe some of this work. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, John. Uh, my name is Dima. I'm originally from Jordan and currently I'm a PhD candidate of architecture at Penn State University, focused on the social and spatial planning of refugee camps in the Middle East with concentration on computational planning techniques. I was very excited to get selected for this project because it was very much aligned with my research work on refugee camp and on refugee camps and also with my career goals to become a professional in this field. This project helped me closely learn about the institutional efforts to enhance the refugee settlements and advance the quality of life for persons of concern. I particularly appreciated the opportunity to continue developing my skills in working remotely with a multidisciplinary and multinational team. In addition to developing my uh, written and oral communication skills as well as my technical skills and utilizing um, the multiple Autodesk applications in the humanitarian field. And in five years, I hope to successfully have my PhD research on refugee camps completed and become an experienced professional in the development engineering field. I hope that I would be able to work in my home country, Jordan, or in other regions in the world where humanitarian services are needed. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, John and Dima. Now we will highlight an example from the Design for Good pillar through which we assist organizations with product design, development, or implementation. This year, we partnered with a nonprofit, Bridges to Prosperity, on a project at the intersection of transport, infrastructure, and data analytics. We are joined today by Ms. Abby Noriega, the VP of Evaluation at Bridges to Prosperity. Welcome, Abby. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, as, as she mentioned, I'm Abby Noriega with Bridges to Prosperity. We build trail bridges so that people can reach essential destinations. Uh, we currently have programs in Uganda and Rwanda with evaluation work in Ethiopia and Zambia and Cote d'Ivoire. Um, so for years, we've had anecdotal, uh, anecdotal evidence that B2P trail br bridges influence the sizes of the, the paths and roads they connect. When we heard from the Autodesk Foundation about the opportunity to apply for support um, of an E4C fellow, we thought this would be an ideal way to try and answer this question. So the project leveraged existing satellite imagery of completed B2P trail bridges in Rwanda and Uganda to determine changes in the width of the walking paths and roads within a specified distance, um, both before and after bridge construction. 
So as Abdul explained, there were detectable changes in the sizes of the adjacent paths. This was really exciting to find and adds to evidence from other studies we've done that bridges don't just make existing crossings safer, they increase pedestrian movement within a region and very likely influence local economies, school attendance, healthcare access in a really significant way. Um, we will be building on this work by incorporating it into ongoing research about the impact of improved access in rural communities. Um, so Abdul was a particularly good fit um, for this project because he has a very specific skill set we were seeking um, around remote sensing and was able to understand the problem and come up with an effective approach really quickly um, in a, an area of work where there's simply a dearth of data. Um, in fact, we'd love to continue working with Abdul however we can. We're trying hard to um, have him uh, work with us in a continued way. Um, and I'd love to introduce you um, to our E4C fellow over to you, Abdul, to explain a little bit more about this project and your experience. Uh, thank you very much, Abby. So uh, my name is Abdul Rashid Musa. I am a PhD student at the University of Missouri. I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa. So I'm a transportation engineer. I specialize in big data analysis, spatial statistical modeling, and applied artificial intelligence in transportation safety and systems optimization. Uh, so I had the pleasure of working with Bridges to Prosperity during the E4C fellowship, and uh, I'll describe the experience as enlightening and humbling, uh, as I was able to be part of a project that was uh, improving in shape in the course of the lives of people in a real world setting. Uh, the main outcomes of the project uh, were proof of the value of the presence of these trail bridges in increasing connectivity and active mobility within these regions. And uh, as an individual building on my skill sets in spatial analytics, computer vision modeling, uh, this experience was invaluable for me to apply what I know. Um, my biggest takeaway from the fellowship was uh, becoming more familiar and especially more involved uh, within the engineering for development spaces, uh, engineering for global development spaces, um, the E4C fellowship um, with the learning modules that we were engaged in was a wealth of uh, information that, you know, allowed me to expand on what I already know. And I'm incredibly grateful for that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul, and thank you, Abby, and special thank you for the Autodesk Foundation who sponsored both of the projects that we've just showcased um, this year. Really phenomenal partnership for us, and we're so incredibly grateful. Our last case study is showcasing the impact research pillar, which pairs fellows with organizations to investigate critical research questions at the intersection of engineering, sustainability, and global development. Our partner this summer was Habitat for Humanity's Terrible Liver Center, for innovation in shelter. The outcome of our collaboration laid the foundation, no pun intended, for further work, and we are now continuing the project through our winter cohort. I would like to introduce Juan Pablo Vargas, Senior Technical Advisor to the Terra Lugar Center for Innovation in Shelter. Bienvenido, Pablo. Gracias, Iana. Good day to everyone. It's a real pleasure for Habitat for Humanity to be part of Impact Engineer 2021 celebration. Currently, 1.6 billion people lack adequate housing in the world. By 2030, this number is estimated to grow to 3 billion. 70% of this need will be in the global south. At the same time, the construction industry uses huge amounts of materials and resources that are extracted from the environment and is one of the largest drivers of CO2 emissions globally. Habitat for Humanity's vision is a world where everyone has a decent place to live. For us to accomplish this vision, it's critical to find new approaches, new technologies, and new business models that can disrupt the industry and contribute to both, solving the housing challenge, while at the same time protecting the environment. This is why we found a natural link with Engineering for Change and decided to partner with them to analyze sustainable housing innovations that enable circular economies in low-income communities, particularly in Mexico and Kenya. Thanks to this research, Habitat is able to advance toward the development of a sustainability strategy, which will help us to adapt our programs and tactics to better include sustainability principles in our interventions. In the end, this will contribute to better affordable housing for the people and for the planet. 
Now, wanting to extend this work to gain insights in additional geographies, we have continued to partner with E4C and are sponsoring two additional fellows to work with us during the current winter cohort in India and the Philippines. To speak to some of the research processes and his experience during the fellowship, I would like to give you the chance to hear from E4C fellow who worked with us during this impact research, Martin. Martin, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Juan Pablo, and hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Martin Del Pino. I'm from Argentina. I have an undergrad in industrial engineering, and I have recently finished a European Joint Master in Sustainable Development. I was an E4C fellow in 2021, and I'm currently working at McKinsey.org, that is a McKinsey and Company initiative to tackle the most complex environmental and social challenges. During the impact research project with Habitat for Humanity, we investigate the major trends and opportunities of circularity in affordable housing in Mexico. For this, we base our research in the Ellen MacArthur Foundation framework for a transition to a circular economy and apply, apply this framework to the affordable housing sector in Mexico. We complement this methodology by interviewing over 15 experts of both circular economy and affordable housing that gave us a systemic approach of the solutions and best local and international practices. During this project, I had the opportunity to work in a multicultural environment with fellows from 22 countries and partners from four different regions. I could also improve my project management skills with a holistic view of the sustainable development goals. And finally, I had the opportunity to connect with two high impact and global global organizations such as Habitat for Humanity and Engineering for Change. It was a great opportunity. If you are an early career engineer considering the fellowship, my advice is to apply for joining this family where you would learn to combine both technical knowledge and management consulting, consulting skills for a better future. Thank you everyone and I'm happy to keep in touch. Enjoy the event. Gracias, Martín y Juan Pablo. It's, I love the fact that you are calling this a family because that's exactly how we see ourselves as well. And it's particularly exciting for us to have fellows and partners based on the same continent and oftentimes in the same city. The relationship often results in continued engagement and full-time employment. So um, that is often a benefit of the fellowship as well. Thank you to all of our incredible partners and fellows. As you've been able to see, E4C's impact projects enable us to share both our unique research methodology, human-centered design approaches, and the extraordinary engineering talent that we have uh, at our access with other organizations in the social sector. The case studies we shared are just a few of more than 70 projects to date. You can learn more about the full portfolio of E4C's impact projects from 2021 in our newly published annual research report that is available on our site at the link listed in the chat now. The call for partners for 22 is also open now, and we invite you to visit our impact projects page to submit your requests. Now, the E4C Fellowship is only possible with the generous support of funders like the Siegel Family Endowment, whose perspectives encompass not a single program or project, but an entire ecosystem. Joining us now is Katie Knight, the Executive Director of Siegel Family Endowment, a foundation focused on understanding and shaping the impact of technology on society. Kay joined SFE in 2017 as Deputy Executive Director and brings a diverse range of professional experience to the role drawn from her previous endeavors in education, technology, and community-based organizations. Before joining SFE, Katie worked on community engagement at financial sciences company uh, Two Sigma. Her earlier career includes several years at Google spent working in various capacities, most notably on the public affairs team. Before that, she held roles in nonprofit development and real estate. She's deeply passionate about the power of local politics and civic engagement, and previously served on her local community board in Queens, New York, earning recognition in 2015 as a 40 under 40 rising star in city and state for her work there and at Google. She currently serves as a member of the Advisory Council of Red, Red Alliance, an NYC nonprofit whose dual impact improves early literacy, outcome, literacy outcomes for elementary school students, while also helping young people build early career skills, as well as on the board of CS for All, the national movement to bring high quality computer science education to all students. 
Katie, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the virtual stage. Thank you very much. I'm really delighted to be here to represent SFE. As you mentioned, we're a foundation focused on the impact of technology on society. And I often say that's true for better or for worse. There's incredible potential in technology and also some harms to mitigate. We invest in organizations that are engaged in learning workforce and what we call multidimensional infrastructure, which recognizes the interdependence between infrastructures, physical, digital, and social dimensions. As some people may already know, last month we announced an investment in the Engineering for Change Research Fellowship, and starting next spring, we'll fund five E4C fellows to perform cross-sector research and conduct a longitudinal impact evaluation of the program. In other words, not only do we want to fund the fellows who, as we just saw, are doing incredible work, we're also interested in studying how the fellowship experience affects both their longer-term career paths, as well as their impact on the innovators, entrepreneurs, and nonprofit organizations that they've worked with. I'm sure we all can agree that infrastructure influences everything in society. And if we're going to solve the most pressing challenges of our age, whether they are systemic, racial, and other inequalities, climate change, or the myriad challenges we face, we need a better way of designing our infrastructure. For us at Siegel, infrastructure isn't just about building things. It's equally about the processes that shape the things that we build. We're really inspired by how E4C fellows work directly with communities to develop responsive and sustainable infrastructure and believe that this approach will unlock greater, more equitable impact across multiple dimensions. Our mission aligns really closely with the goals of the E4C Research Fellowship Program, and we're excited to collaborate with you all on this important work to, to advance multidimensional engineering for the benefit of humanity. We hope that our involvement will encourage others to consider joining us in support of the E4C Fellowship and the work of ASME more broadly to foster greater opportunity for young researchers and to make their innovative solutions more widely available to underserved communities worldwide. Thank you for including Siegel Endowment in your Impact Engineer 2021 and for all of the work that you're doing to empower the next generation of engineers who will build a better future for all of us. Back over to you. Thank you, Katie, for sharing your insights and for working with us to build the human infrastructure that will shape the future. We're really excited to do this together.